Hi, I'm the Rick at Rick Turns, and today's video is Deep inside the dark, mysterious jungles of Duluth, Georgia, lives a tribe of primitive natives who believe that the spirit of a Christmas tree lives inside this log, in spite of the fact that it's a white oak log. Could it be true? Could there be a tree living inside this log? Join me on Weird Wood Turnings for Rick to find out. I'm going to attach this great big log to my lathe. I'm going to use this. I've got about a four inch face plate here. It's got uh, eight screw positions. And I am just going to eyeball the center of this because it doesn't matter all that much. The log's going to be out of balance when I start on it anyway. So I'm going to be using uh, three inch screws. These are exterior screws. All right, that should be attached tightly enough not to come off. Off to the lathe and find out. Well, we got a vague Christmas tree shape here. A lot of splits down to the bottom, but I'm not going to worry about that. So what I want to do now, turn this flat. I'm going to attach another piece of wood here, uh, fairly colorful wood. And that's going to be the top decoration of the tree. Got a one half inch Forzner bit here that I'm going to use. Hole doesn't really have to be too deep. So when I attach a block there, I'm going to put a half inch uh, tenon on it. It'll fit right down in there. I've got the quill set at zero. I'm set at about 500 there. I don't want to don't want it to go too fast. It will just build up too much heat, and that's not going to do me any good. All right, one and a half. I've got a piece of cherry here. This is just a scrap piece I had from some project or the other. I need a one half inch tenon down on one end. This is set to a half an inch here. So I am going to be taking that down and then that will be my top ornament for the tree. At around 2000 RPM. So here we go, let's see how this fits. All right, it's a little bit large. All right, I've got a nice snug fit here. 
I am just going to glue these pieces together. And for this, I'm going to use uh, just plain vanilla uh, woodworker's glue. So now, I'm just going to put this in here. And I'm going to bring up the tailstock right there and put pressure on it. I think the shape is right now. I've got a little bit of a dip going right in there, which is what I want for my Christmas trees. And uh, before I proceed any more on this, it's going to need some shear scraping. I'm going to do the um, top ornament. I've got my double line D tool rest here. I'm going to shorten this some. I think it's in proportion to the tree. It's way too long. So And pretty clean. It's got a little chipping there, trying to get that sharp edge. But I got to sand it anyway. I think that's all the decoration I'm going to do on this piece. Now it's back to the main body here. Okay, I need to take that down a little bit more. I think smooth up the rest of this if I can. going to use a shear scrape using a scraper to try and uh, refine this a little bit smooth it out got some torn grain right here see what I can do with that Now, I need to cut in the branches. They got about nine inches or, what is that, 230 millimeters right there, nine inches. So let's see how that's going to work out. And let's see, let's go with about an inch and a half, three inches. Yeah, it, uh, it looks like pretty good spacing. I'm going to make a, just an initial cut right there, really just to define it. And 
Then I'll start tapering it in on a curve on each one of these. The sanding is all done, and it's looking fairly good. Now I usually uh, take pieces off and, and just do the wipe on varnish on the workbench. Uh, this time I'm going to try doing it on the lathe when it's rotating at its lowest setting. And I'm going to be using this, which is my wiping varnish, which is a 50-50 mixture of mineral spirits and varnish. And I'm just going to put it on with a paper towel. Now let me see. All right, it says it's turning at about 128. Let's see if that's going to work. Maybe it will. It can sometimes be difficult to get the finish right up on those little. Uh, edges right underneath those edges there, but it seems to be working. Well, as soon as that dries. I'll be back for another coat and continue putting it on until it looks nice and shiny, which is what I like in my finishes. Finish is done. Now, since I had it on a face plate, I didn't uh, do any work on this at all, and so I'm just going to kind of sand it down, see if I can make it look a little bit better. Last step, buff it. I'm going to be using some Hut Perfect Pen Polish. I think this is the one that has a little bit of very fine abrasive built into it. Wow! There really was a Christmas tree hidden inside that log. I wonder if Santa knows about this. See you next video!